Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel, The Crumbs in the Philippines. We really appreciate you dropping in today to spend a little segment of our lives with us and, and see how things are going. And we all, as always guys, we just really appreciate you watching our videos. If you're new to the channel, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel so you can get just a you know, little bit of insight into what's available to you should you ever decide to relocate to a foreign country in your retirement or or you just want to are curious and want to learn more about the philippines for a vacation or or any other type of visit if you're not planning to move here today we're going to talk about how much money do expat vloggers make on youtube there seems to be a I can't even begin to put a number on how many vloggers I see on YouTube making videos just like we do here. And I was kind of curious as to how much money some of these guys could make. Now today I'm not going to talk about other vloggers besides just Jen and myself, but you can extrapolate the numbers and, and easily figure out how much your favorite vlogger or other vloggers are making online. But you just have to be careful that you're only comparing those people that are in the same niche that we are, which is like retirement in the Philippines, cost of living, how to find housing, those types of things. Then, then you'll find that it's fairly similar and, and like our cost per million views is the same and our RPM. Cost per views is how much advertisers pay for space on YouTube videos. That's how much they pay to YouTube. And then RPM is how much the creator, like ourselves, that's how much we make from the ads that are run on our videos. Okay, so we're gonna get started. Uh, first thing is, what are the requirements to becoming monetized on YouTube? That's recently changed here this year. I know when Jen and I first started, the requirements were 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 accumulated watch hours on your content. But here recently, that's been lowered to 500 subscribers and 3,000 watch hours of content before your channel can be monetized. Okay? Once you're monetized, you have to fill out a lot of paperwork and set up a bank account and it ta the approval process takes a little bit of time. So in our case, it took about three weeks from the moment that we filled everything out until we were approved and, and everything from Google AdSense. Okay? So there are different ways that you can earn money on YouTube. The most common and most popular and the only way that Jen and I earn money right now is through Google AdSense, which means that there, there are ads that run sometimes during our videos, and depending on how many views we get in a month, we'll get anywhere from like a penny to a penny and a half per view on our videos. AdSense is the most common way, and anybody that gets monetized almost always earns from AdSense. And you're not going to get rich from that unless you get up into the millions, hundreds of thousands of views per video. And there, there are YouTube millionaires that get millions of views, but that seems to be a little bit beyond the grasp of what Jen and I are capable of doing on our channel. There are other ways of earning that we don't, we haven't taken advantage of it. Our purpose in making videos is not to earn money. We we're very comfortable without YouTube. We'd be just fine without it. But there are people that depend on YouTube as part of their livelihood here in the Philippines and in other foreign countries. And you can normally pick those out pretty quickly. They make just video after video after video. And, and then whenever you pop onto one of their live streams, within the first few minutes, they're talking about super chats and super thanks and things like that while they're doing their live streams and and that's how they gauge success on a live stream is by how much money they earn during that time okay and that that brings us to the second way that you can earn 
on uh, YouTube is through Supers. You have a super thanks button that you can activate once your channel becomes monetized. It shows up down near the description box on every video. And if people are happy with your content or they want to support your channel, they can go down and click on the super thanks and then they can make a donation to your channel. And at the end of the month, it's added into your income that's paid to you from YouTube. Now, we activated that button on our channel. We just, I just did it because it seemed like the right thing to do. But we don't ask people to push that button. And as of now, no one has ever done that. So I don't even know if that button works or not, to be honest with you. I mean, it's possible, I'm sure. And I hope that I never get in a position where I need to ask people to, to send us money. I, that's not something I'd be comfortable doing all in an online format. But that's what it's there for. And you also have super chats and something else. I can't remember exactly what it's called that show up during live streams in the little chat box. You can press the super chat and, and send money to the, the vlogger that's hosting the, the live chat. And, and there are people that make quite a bit of money doing that. I know I stopped watching a lot of live streams because of that. I just didn't want to get involved in that and I don't like it when people ask me to donate money. I just was watching the content for informational purposes. But that, I mean that's also available during live streams. We don't we've only done one live stream. We plan on doing more, but it's they're definitely not fundraisers, trust me. Just to get information out there in real time and for people to talk to us and ask us questions and things like that. Another way that you can earn money directly from your YouTube channel is through memberships. We have memberships turned on as well on our channel, but we don't utilize that. At some point, we might actually use the memberships, which you can sign up for a membership for a pretty small monthly fee, and it helps in the maintenance of the channel, but we don't really, as I said, we don't need the money. But there are some events that we would like to do, some live chats that are a little bit more personal in nature and, and might talk about topics that aren't really relevant to all of our viewers. And you can have members only live streams or members only quizzes, chats, things like that. And that's something that we might utilize in the future. But it would be very, very cheap, I promise you. And then the last way that you can earn money directly from your YouTube videos is by selling merchandise. Something else that we, we don't do, but I know a lot of people do that, especially big time vloggers. They'll, they sell coffee cups, shirts, t-shirts, sweatshirts, pins, mouse pads, all kinds of things with their logo and stuff on it. Now is there a point where Jen and I might someday try to sell merchandise? It's possible, but I, right now I just don't, I don't see that happening anytime soon. I can't imagine there being a huge demand for crumbs in the Philippines, t-shirts or coffee mugs. But hopefully one day that, that might be possible and, and something that, that we would do if, there, if I thought it would be worthwhile. Making YouTube videos takes up a lot of time and I don't mind it because it gives me something to do as a retiree. It's kind of like a hobby. I love making the videos. I love editing them, experimenting with the settings on the camera and, and the editing software. It's actually a lot of fun and it keeps me busy. So I just really enjoy doing it. I can't imagine doing this as an occupation or where I depended on the money because uh, it's very unpredictable and it's not consistent whatsoever. YouTube can shut down individual videos or your channel at a moment's notice and you don't really have any say about that. And I've seen people lose their channel and they have no idea why and they've never been given an explanation. It's just not something that I want to deal with. Now another way that you can earn money is outside of YouTube but it directly correlates to your videos is through sponsors. I know we got pretty lucky on one of our early videos and 
we got a, a, it got a lot of views and I think this one sponsor that was a dating site for Filipinas they they actually approached us through an email about becoming a sponsor for our channel and we would run in a spot in a little segment in each video and I guess they thought our channel was just gonna take off and run away but once the rest of the videos came out and they saw that the average views we were getting were well below what we got for that one for which for us was a viral video then they they never contacted us again they i guess they thought we didn't get enough views and which to me that was kind of funny and i i only i answered them just to see what it was about and they never answered back and then you can also approach companies and become an affiliate and put links down in the description box for goods, services, merchandise, things like that. And for every time someone clicks one of those links and makes a purchase, you get a small percentage of it, which is something else that we just haven't done right now and really don't have any intention of doing that. Excuse me, in the near future. Now, all of these things, I'm not closing the door to that opportunity we're just going to play the turtles game of slow and steady wins the race and we'll just continue to make videos and consistently hopefully increase our subscriber base we went above 2100 subscribers i'm very happy with that and i just like to see that keep growing and growing and and get up to where some of the bigger vloggers are here in the philippines expats up around 50 75 there's a couple that have over a hundred thousand subscribers. Their content is not a whole lot different than what we put out. It's just they've been doing it a lot longer. And I guess they kind of learn what people are looking for. And I kind of hope in a way that I learn that as well. Because what getting a lot of views, it, it kind of gives you a warm feeling inside. And that I mean that's the reason we keep doing it, along with keeping a record for our family back home. Okay? Now, let's, uh, I'm not going to talk about earnings from any other vloggers. That's none of my business. And that's for other people to share if they like. But you can kind of extrapolate what we earn on YouTube uh, to other channels and base it on number of views and, and number of subscribers. And So Jen and I, we, it took us two and a half months to become monetized where we reached a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours we hit the subscriber point before we hit the the view hours and i was very shocked to be honest with you i thought it would take at least a year to reach a thousand subscribers but we made it in about two months and then after two and a half months we hit the threshold on views and our our channel became monetized and then it took us an additional two and a half months or two months, I can't remember exactly, to get a, our first payment from a YouTube. And it was massive. It was a whopping $125 for that first five months of uh, working on YouTube. And believe it or not, I mean, the majority of that was from that one video, which that it's up to over 41,000 views right now for the one video. And that's what got us over the hump quickly to monetize and, and it, it got us to that first payday very quickly. I mean, at least in YouTube terms, that's fairly quickly. If you get a payment in under six months, the average is more than a year when you're first starting out. And then after another three months, we just got our second payment this month in November of $125. So we're pretty consistent. We're, we're earning about $30 a month, $28 to $30 a month on our YouTube videos. It would be nice to get more than that, but for us, it's just like a couple of extra times at the restaurant or, or we could use the entire thing and go on a two night trip somewhere. But what we did is the first two payments that we received for our YouTube channel have act they paid for our the first two cameras that we bought which were a mistake but at least we recouped our losses on those and 
once we hit the point where it pays for this new camera that we have, our Hero, then I'll feel good. Then I'll, I'll re you know, I won't feel like I'm in the red anymore on YouTube. But it doesn't matter anyway. I enjoy it so much. I, if I never made another penny, I'd still keep making videos and and enjoying it. And it gives Jen and I something to do together. And we plan and try to make ideas for videos and places that we can go and visit and share with everyone. It, it's really a lot of fun. So. Basically, in conclusion, I would recommend to anyone that enjoys working with cameras and, and editing type things, software on your laptop, and just want to stay busy. I mean, there's, I would say, start making some videos and, and throw them up on YouTube and see what happens. You might get very lucky or you might just be very good at it and people might respond to your personality and, and just be drawn to your videos through that avenue and once that happens and you get above a certain level you can kind of get self-sustaining and maybe get come up with some type of a second third or even a fourth stream of income each month every little bit helps if you're retired you understand what i mean i know that jen and i that we don't we're perfectly fine without any money from YouTube, but it would be nice, you know, to kind of add a, a, another stream in there that we could use for travel and, and just to, you know, for philanthropic type exploits, maybe helping a person here and there along the way. And, and uh, because there are quite a few people in need in the Philippines, but you will we'll never be on here asking for money for other people. That's just not, number one, I don't know if that's legal. I don't think it is. And I just, I'm, I've never been comfortable asking people for money. And that's not something that you'll ever hear us do here on this channel. If anyone wanted to give something or donate for the cause, that'd be completely on them. But we, we think absolutely no more or no less of any person whatsoever. I think we're actually going to meet our first subscriber here at near the first part of December. And uh, we'll actually try to get some video of that and, and get his first impressions. I'm not going to throw him under the bus by saying his name here on the channel. I'll wait until he gets here and, uh, and we meet and, and, and see if he's comfortable coming on the channel and letting everybody know what his travel was like and his first impressions of the area. And, things like that but anyway guys as always we super appreciate you thank you so much for watching our videos as i said earlier if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing smash that like button help us get that algorithm working in our favor and as always stay healthy stay happy and we'll see you at the next video guys take care